just passed Mother's Day, and uh, in a couple of weeks, I'll have a birthday, but don't send money or gifts. I just uh, was thinking about my mom, and the song I just sang, I wrote uh, back in 1992, and it has been requested on a number of occasions because it speaks to the very practical subject of pro-life versus abortion, and on a personal level. You see, all those folks who are for a woman's choice, supposedly, uh, never, never speak in terms of their hoping their mom would have practiced that particular choice, that wrong choice. We believe that God is the author of life, and he is the one who allows us to be born with a purpose, with design. In Jeremiah, in chapter 1, verse 5, before I formed thee, God says to Jeremiah, I knew thee, and before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee and ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. Then said I, Ah, Lord God, behold, I cannot speak, for I am a child. But the Lord said unto me, Say not, I am a child, for thou shalt go to all that I shall send thee, and whatsoever I command thee, thou shalt speak. Be not afraid of their faces, for I am with thee to deliver thee, saith the Lord. Then the Lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth. And the Lord said unto me, Behold, I have put my words in thy mouth. See, I have this day set thee over the nations and over the kingdoms to root out and to pull down and to destroy and to throw down, to build and to plant. You see, God has a plan for each of us. And that plan has to do with our place in his kingdom. And his kingdom is greater than any earthly kingdom. Therefore, the responsibilities that we have to know and to do the will of God as children of his are paramount. They are so very important. And not one of us is here by accident. Not one of us is here simply as the biological result of two people being together. God knew you and he knew me before we ever existed. And he still knows us. He knows my address. He knows what's going on in my heart. He knows what's going on in your heart, your thoughts. And his purposes are still perfect. And he wants us to know that purpose and to do that purpose. Over in Romans chapter 11, we read about the gifts and calling of God that are without repentance. God never takes back what he designs and he sets in order within us and sets in motion. He wants us to go on and serve him. So I am eternally grateful to my parents. I was brought up in a Christian home and I thank God for them and, and uh, for all that they mean to me. The, the rest of the song goes like this. I want you to listen. Satan seeks to end the life of those who live for God before their birth ere er on this earth they've had a chance to try but God has placed the tiny soul where harm should have no part the safest place that God could choose was near a mother's heart it goes on and, and of course but the second verse legislators loudly argue for a woman's choice but who will lobby in behalf of the unborn who've no voice oh who will stop the holocaust the butcher's efforts thwart who'd ever dream the danger lurks so near my mother's I was 
let's pray. Father, I thank you for all the moms out there. I thank you for my mom and the fact that I was warm and safe and protected. And you had a purpose for me and each one as well who's now listening to what I'm praying. While our heads are bowed and our eyes are closed, if you've never received Christ as your Savior, for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Would you pray right now from your heart to God? Something like this. Dear God, I admit that I'm a sinner and I deserve to pay for my sins. But I believe Jesus died to save me. And right now I receive the Lord Jesus Christ into my heart as my personal Savior. Please take away my sins and take me to heaven when I die. And if you've prayed that prayer, let us know. We'd love to rejoice with you. If you're leading souls to Christ, let us be an encouragement to you. And let's pray for others. Lord, we pray for the sick. We pray for the needy, the hurting, the burdened down. Thank you that you are the great burden bearer. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Sing with me near my mother's heart. get a copy of that song and use it with our blessing. Thank you for being with us today. God bless you.